Hi guys, so today we're looking at this lovely LG UHD TV with AI ThinQ technology. This is the 49 inch model and this actually launched this year. So this is a 2020 uh, model, which is pretty recent. Now, most of the recent LG TVs that come out now do come with the Magic Remote Control. What's really cool about the Magic Remote Control, you may ask? Well, you know those lovely voice services like Alexa and whatnot? You can actually, there's a built-in microphone within the remote, so you can actually access those services through your remote control, which is pretty decent, right? So the remote control now is not just your standard remote control, it's an extension of your voice services. Speaking of voice services, um, this does come with ThinQ AI technology, so that you know technology actually seamlessly works with your voice services uh, to really enhance that experience for you. Um, now, of course, it is a 4K TV, so it comes with real 4K IPS, and What's a 4K TV without a brilliant quad-core processor that is there to process all that content so that it displays lovely and nicely on your TV? This TV is great for gaming as well, and as you know, I love my games, and in this video, I will, of course, demo gaming on this TV. But of course, it's also great for just consuming great content like YouTube and your favorite 4K movies and whatnot. Um, so that talks about the cinematic experience that I see here on the box, and of course, you have unlimited entertainment by that. Of course, in addition to just watching TV, you have all these lovely apps on here because it is a smart TV. So you can do more than just watch your TV. You can do much movies, you can play games. There's a ton of other applications that are built into this. Obviously, YouTube, Netflix, all that great stuff. So with that being said, let's take this lovely LG UHD TV out of the box and let's look at it in a bit more detail. So straight out of the box, looking along the top left hand side, there we have our um, product registration, we have our quick installation manual. Um, along the bottom left hand side, we have the Google Assistant installation instructions as well as our Alexa installation instructions. In the middle, we have our um, Magic Remote there with a couple of set of batteries that it comes with. I always recommend not using those AA batteries, get a fresh brand new set of like alkalines like Energizer or, or um, Duracell or even rechargeable ones. Um, that's what I recommend. Then we have a little cable management uh, strip there, which is this thing here. And we also have the LG TV, LED TV owner's manual there on the top right hand side, next to a little pack of screws that connect the feet, which you can see on the far right hand side to the bottom of the TV. And, you know, of course, what's a TV without the AC cord? Because you need to plug something into the wall, and that's the cable below in the lower right hand side. So hooking up the feet on this thing is pretty straightforward. Um, they're labeled A and B, not like the conventional left and right that you would normally see on feet for TV. So I'm holding the B foot here, and on this TV there's a B right there, so I'm guessing that this goes on this side. And they have these two little pieces here that actually fit into these grooves, right? These two little bumps, I call them, whatever. So you can't really mess it up. Um, you actually just intuitively just I line up those grooves and it fits like that, see? And I just have to now put the put the screws in. So I can't put it in this way, right? Because one is actually like a cylinder and the other one is like a little rectangle. So you can't really mess it up. So I just put them in there and it comes with these screws here. Um, so I'm just gonna screw this one in here. Where's the screw? Oh, the two screws go there, okay. So what I recommend for these, um, if you have like a magnetic screwdriver or something like this. This is, this is magnetic as well. That will help. I'm just gonna line it up in there. And there you go. It's one. And this is two. That's that. And let's do the other side now. And I put that in. This one is easier because it's on the outside. That's it, your feet are set up. So before we stand this TV back on its feet here, 
are the where the stock speakers are. These are usually two by ten watt. Um, I can confirm that in a second. Um, but I always recommend if you're going to get a TV like this and invest, might as well get a, th a surround sound system as well. So looking at the ports along the back, along the bottom here we have our component AV in, right? Um, and we also here have uh, audio, um, and which is stereo. So you have a stereo configuration or just a mono configuration. But this is all part of your component AV in. Um, I'm kind of surprised. I kind of like that that you know modern TVs in 2020 still have these this uh, component AV in. Uh, mostly so that you know for older devices so like you know old like VCRs people today still use VCRs or there's even older electronics um, that still have these ports you can still leverage them right uh, on this TV which I find is a, a really good feature from uh, LG I know a lot of other manufacturers don't really use these anymore but it's good that LG still kept these co component AV ports here um, which is a big win for me um, of course we have our antenna cable in port here and along the top, we have an optical uh, digital audio out for your um, surround sound. Um, we have our LAN port, of course, for your RJ, RJ45 connection to your network, a wired connection. Obviously, this does come in with a built-in wireless LAN, so you don't really need this if you want to connect to your home network. You know, you have your, this has built-in Wi-Fi. Um, of course, here we have a USB port, and here is an HDMI port number three. And right here along the side, we have HDMI port 1, HDMI port 2, and here is a USB port as well. So that's Now, this is the screen that you get when you turn on your LG for the first time. Now, what I like about this remote, and I'll look at this a bit closer in a second, there's a click wheel in the middle that also functions as a, an OK button. So I'm just going to press on that. Language and location settings. Confirm your location and language settings. Language, English, button. See, so it kind of speaks to you, right? Button. Audio guidance is currently turned on to assist the visually impaired. Do you want to keep audio guidance turned on? No, yes. No, I like that. Button. That by default, the um, audio guidance is turned on, right? So, which is a pretty nice feature uh, for those that are visually impaired. But I'm gonna go turn it off right now. So now I can just go through it and talk through. All right, so obviously, what I love about the Magic Remote, as you can see, I still cursor here. So this is like my Magic Wand, I just point, and I can easily navigate the screen, right? And I just use a click feature, just like that. So I'm gonna set up my Wi-Fi now, and now we're gonna continue. So. All right, so this is really cool, I must admit, because you just point and click, right? Um, and when there's a keyboard on there, you can just point and click and press your keys on the keyboard, which is pretty nice. And you can then intuitively, easily just use a click wheel. There's a click wheel that's built in here as well to navigate uh, menus and stuff. Um, look at, you know, navigate uh, documents on the screen. This is a really, really nice remote control. Here's where you can set up your real-time internet TV and content services with the LG AI TV. So there's uh, LG channels with free movies and TV and Prime Video. Now, I already set up my internet connection, so let me click on the free movies and TV and see what we get here. So it's currently updating the LG channels. This application has been successfully updated. And here are all your channels. So here in the home dashboard, and this is one of my favorite features of this LG TV, here is where you can connect to all of your home IoT devices. So if you have home appliances and small uh, things that are that are, uh, are connected devices, you can actually control them here. So you have like washing machines, televisions, uh, you name it. You can actually control them through this TV. Uh, and then, of course, I have um, storage. I have my media server here, which is my personal media server, uh, which is upstairs. Um, and here you can actually um, manage all of your ports, right? So what's connected, you have Live TV, which is your... Uh, right now I have streaming services. But here is where you can see your HDMI ports, one, two, three, and your component and your AV port. So when you have uh, devices hooked up to these, these will actually be lit up, right, to show you the status. 
Here you can actually watch your live TV here in this mini window if you wanted to. And here is all of your mobile um, uh, mobile services. So there's um, here. And then here's AirPlay and here's your sound share. Here's where you can connect your smartphone to your TV via Bluetooth and you can play your music uh, in your smart in your from your smartphone through your TV speakers, right? Um, and so, and again, it's Bluetooth, so you can use any Bluetooth enabled tablet or smartphone to connect to this to then play your your media through uh, this TV. Um, AirPlay, most of you are, should be familiar with AirPlay, um, uh, Apple service, of course, Apple AirPlay, and of course, you can well actually share content from your iPhone, iPad, or Mac on this TV as well. So obviously what I like about this is the, the menu icon at the bottom where if I press my back button here, I'm in AirPlay, but if I want to get out of that, I can just go into this menu down here and then I can navigate other applications right along the bottom. Um, here's where you have your little home dashboard right here. Um, here's your LG content store, right? Where you can just see your app, app store, I guess. And if I was to go and go along the top here, these are some of the apps that are already pre-installed. UFC, a few others, Spotify, YouTube Kids, Twitch, Plex, Smart IPTV. There's a lot of stuff here. Well, that sounds pretty nice. This is pretty good. All right. I, I like this. Okay, so there's, I have to look at some other stuff here. So of course, Netflix, there's Amazon Prime Video. You have Disney Plus, LG, Dazen, you know, Apple TV, like all the standard apps that you find on smart TVs are on this. And there's a lot of them, as you can see here on the bottom. Now, I did mention earlier that this, this does have in built-in Google Assistant as well as um, Amazon Alexa. So this is where, for example, you set up your Amazon Alexa. Uh, let's log in here. Okay, so here's where you set it up. Um, one other thing, so if you want to access your, this is like the, I guess the content store, like LG's app store, um, here's where you can actually get other apps and customize the apps that you want on your TV, right? So what we saw was pretty much what was installed by default, but you can customize it obviously with any of these apps here and a ton of apps, as you can see here, um, Disney plus Amazon prime video. Pure Flix, there's a couple of games on here. Um, all right, and then you can, uh, some sports there. And then you can go to like, and that, that's the featured apps, but then the all apps page now, we have um, in categories, we have what's new. So that's this one right here. Um, you have games, of course. I love my games. A ton of nice looking cute games here as well. All right, no big blockbuster games, but you know, fun. Fun games that look really nice on your TV. Um, there's entertainment, so I'm guessing it's the video content. Aha, uh -huh, Alt Balaji, Airstar, you know, quite a few. Of course, Apple TV, so all your video video services are here. And then there's life. So here we have, oh, so like there's all the cool stuff like the Courier map that I was, well, that I was looking at. Actually, it's quite a few of those. Aquarium One, Aquarium Online, a couple screensavers, right? Um, There's a lot of stuff here, right? A lot of stuff. So the bezel on this side is about, on either side is about three eighths of an inch. And then along the top, it's about roughly three eighths of an inch as well. And along the bottom here, yeah, so it's about three eighths of an inch all around. As far as the bezel, oh, no, as far as weight is concerned, this TV is pretty light. It weighs a mere like 24.91 pounds. And as you can see, I can easily lift it up, right? Very light, very light. Now the LG 49UN73 comes with active HDR. It supports two HDR formats, namely HDR10 and HLG Pro. Uh, it's Bluetooth sound ready, comes with Bluetooth 5.0 which means you can connect up to two speakers, including the LG X-Boom speakers set. Now those speakers from LG are sold separately, but the good news is, with this configuration, there are no wires. 
Now I did mention earlier that it does come with Google Assistant as well as the Alexa built-in and Apple AirPlay 2. Um, so if you integrate that, right, those integrated voice assistants with LG's thin cute AI technology, you can control compatible connected home devices uh, within the home. And it's also compatible with Google Home and that device, by the way, is sold separately. Now this comes in five versions. Uh, you're looking at the 49 inch version here, but it also comes in a smaller 43 inch version, as well as the 55, 65, and a whopping 75 inch version as well. Now this thing comes with a quad core processor for 4K processing. It also supports HD upscaling to 4K. So if you have 1080p content, you can upscale it to 4K as well. Now, one of my favorite features is the Magic Remote, where you have voice and motion control right at your fingertips on your remote. So you can pretty much speak, point, scroll, and click, and pretty much control all of your content from this handy dandy remote control unit. Now, it does have a refresh rate of True Motion 120, 120 hertz, so that's ideal for gaming. Uh, the native refresh rate is 60 hertz. But the fact that it has True Motion 120 makes it ideal for gaming. Now, speaking of other attributes, it does come in with two built-in sound speakers, <laughs> or it comes with two built-in speakers, um, and they're 10 watts each. So you have two times 10 watts of speakers. Those speakers are downward facing, so they, they, they um, face downwards below the TV. Comes with built-in Bluetooth 5.0, and of course, what's a TV without Wi-Fi? So it has 802.11ac type Wi-Fi built-in. So here's the Magic Remote up close and personal. So the button I wanna highlight is right here in the middle. That's a button with a microphone icon on that. That's the button that you press when you want to use your um, voice assistant features, right? So like Amazon Alexa, uh, Google Assistant, right? And one other thing I wanna highlight, here we have a Netflix button, and over here we have our um, Prime uh, video button. Let's start playing some games.
So this, my friends, was the review of the 49 UN73 UHD TV from LG. Now, you know, a couple of my favorite features, of course, was the Magic Remote. Uh, the fact that it also supports 120 hertz for true motion gaming. Um, it also supports low input lag. So this is an ideal TV, not just for watching movies and you know consuming 4K content, but the fact that you can play games on this as well. And for a TV that is you know sub $500. It's a great deal and it's LG. And then also another great feature is the fact that this also supports Bluetooth speakers. Uh, so no messy wires when it comes to a surround sound system. And obviously it does support HDR as well. Anyway guys, until next time, happy gaming and stay safe. Bye bye. So I hope you enjoyed that last video. Now, if you liked this uh, video and you liked it, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you subscribe to, to my channel, I'm appreciative of that as well. So thank you very much. Um, so listen, there's going to be a lot more content coming out this year and beyond. Um, I plan to be doing quite a few different types of reviews. And I'm also starting to do giveaways now, finally. So that being said, happy gaming and stay safe. Bye-bye.